Should be good now. Straight shot across the road. We're gonna T-bone this man. Never mind. See if I don't think about it. Oh dear! Almost got them! channel forza horizon 4 today we are back with something special man pretty big 2018 ford f-150 pre-runner to birdie design truck this thing's pretty wild now, i had a little look into this online here 39 inch tires we have fox racing shocks all around i've actually been kind of driving this truck around the last few days personally not the same truck mind you this one does have the bucket seats it has the four point harnesses front to back this thing is ready to go for the desert rally here two spares in the back it's a pretty crazy truck. Um, now, the one that I was looking at online actually had a little iPad attached to the middle of the cage so you can kind of see what was in front of you. It looks identical to the one that I've been driving. Let's start this up. It's like I'm actually sitting here clicking the buttons on this, right? I was just clicking those buttons on the volume control earlier today. This would be a fun truck to rally, man. Thankfully, Forza Horizon 4 lets us do so. We're going to go ahead and take this out for today. Huge thank you to uh, my man Chris Sharpen for letting me use this once again on his account. He had 40%. I hopped on, did the last 10, right? Team effort, man. High fives out there. Of course, we got the Thrustmaster rig out for today, man. TS, XW, Sparco Hub, Handbrake, Shifter, T3PA, Pro Pedals underneath, Next Level Racing Rig, all links found down below. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and don't forget to slap that like button. Dad joke of the day coming from Calf Baby. Uh, why is there no iPhone 9? There was no 9 because 7, 8, 9, right? Obviously, that's that's probably the most, that's that's the worst dad joke. Right? I feel like those are the dad jokes where you're just like, Dad, just no, stop. Obviously, you guys know gloves make you faster on this game. If you guys didn't know that, well, obviously, my Ford F-150 doesn't sound like this. Holy shit. Is the exhaust coming out that back wheel well right there? You see that? That's pretty cool. It's coming right out the back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can do a nice little burnout. Obviously, it's a truck. We should be able to. Uh-huh. It's a lot of power right there. 7,000 pounds holding still. Big brake kit. Look at that. I said I don't want to run it as I just rip first, second, and almost third. I really say exactly. I am expecting a truck uh, in the near future. Obviously, as I said, I'm looking for a tow rig for next year. Uh, and it had to be ordered in, and it's just been taking a long time out there. And uh, they've given me right, the Ford F-150 Lariat as a loaner at the moment. So I've been kind of running around town with that. And it's been nice to drive. And then I found out that uh, it's coming into Forza Horizon 4. And that was just perfect timing. Now, I don't know if we have seven. No, we only have six gears in this thing. Okay, sorry. Now, obviously, Forza Horizon 4's off-road mechanics, they're fun when used properly. So we're going to try and do a little off-roading today with this thing. And uh, maybe do a little upgrade. See how much horsepower we can stuff into this. And I've been told somewhere around the 1500s or so, so that would be pretty cool to see. I just wanted to feel like I'm driving the truck again. Now, I will say, though, driving a truck has really made me uh, realize how fast you can get up just without even realizing, right? I'm sitting there doing it, and I'm like, oh, God, okay, let's just slow this down a second. Hit this patch. We're going to drop this maybe in a second. I don't know how the boat got on the shore, though, that far up, man. Why? Ooh, look at that spot right there. I feel like we can climb that, no? Alright, I hope Forza Horizon 5 has some type of gear changes we can go from, you know, 4 high, 4 low. I think that would be pretty cool if they did that. Oh, 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 come on. Come on, it wants to. Uh-huh. Oh, that made it with no problem. Holy shit, that was a good climb. Okay, let's see if we can go down this thing here. Just kind of crawl it down. Key, though, on the wheels so that we don't kind of jerk it is to use the clutch so when your clutch is in and you gas it a bit it'll actually uh start to just kind of roll down the hill and look at this man we are hanging off of this thing we're actually lifting a wheel this is sick man look at that that's cool we are literally hanging off of this cliff i love the wheels on this though man i did see that it had i think three subwoofers into this thing like it is ready to pump some beats i wish we can turn the sound system on right imagine that just see that it just start hitting the subs Glass start shaking. That was fun, though. But we don't off-road enough on this game, I feel like. Now, obviously, this is not the sole purpose of this truck. It's made for desert rallies, right? I mean, just going out high speeds. Let's go ahead and test our luck down here. Now, the thing is, I can't see sometimes in front of me. That's the problem. But if we can get down here, maybe we can make our way out to the middle of the water area. It's sometimes nice to just take 
a little bit of a different drive on Forza Horizon 4 instead of just always going fast right now, right? I know a lot of you guys, you already, you want to go fast out there. Sometimes you got to go slow though, right? That's, that's the key. We're down, we're down. Yep, yep. There we go, yep, climb it, climb it. Oh, yep. Watch it just fling me up in the air, man. We found the next GTA swing glitch or something, right? Just pop, just right back into the middle of the map. That'd be wild. Yep, pop me. Pop me. Pop. That's so weird. Oh, they definitely don't want me here. Let's see how far we can go out with this thing. Hopefully pretty far. Pretty raised up here. We don't have a snorkel though, which is the thing. We're going around the rocks, man. We're beating it. Um, I just don't know where to go from here though. Oh boy. I'm gonna try and get up this. What am I doing, man? I'm spending like 10 minutes in the water just playing with rocks, man. Let's go close over to the mountains over here. We're gonna get dropped in right here. Fast travel, thank you. Also like to see what kind of tunes we have up in the marketplace. Obviously, uh, big truck, big suspension, big tunings possibly, maybe a wheelie. I don't know, man, hopefully, right? A couple other comments from last episode. Big Willy Billy, he goes, recently lost all my save data on this game, R.I.P. Man, I is that still a thing? How come that's still a thing right now? I don't understand. You're literally just taking a dynamite stick to your garage, unfortunately. I mean, sometimes that's for the best, man. Time for you just to restart it and enjoy the game again. I don't know, right? I mean, let me know what you've done. If you've actually had that happen to you, let me know. And what you've done afterwards, maybe someone else is in need, right? I mean, I don't know. Got a uh, insane wheelie tune, apparently. All-wheel drive. 1,800 horsepower, are you kidding me? We had another coming here from Domo4RM, and he goes, Respect, still remember the days that the intros included the car drawings. I don't know what GT Gars is, I, right? I don't know, man. Let me know, but... Car drawings, oh, you guys remember those car drawings I used to do from the Facebook group page? You guys want to see some more car drawings come back? Let me know down below. Oh boy. Uh, I like this already. Tell me you just seen that shit. Oh. God damn. I like it. Obviously, we're driving this pretty quick. I'm going to definitely have to do my own build on this. Let's see. We got a perfect stretch of road here to hit this fat wheelie. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm just going to, right, let it go. Uh -uh. Okay. We're gonna try and let it go a little bit easier. Or even easier. Nope. See, it'll three wheel from side to side. But I can't really get this thing to wheel wheel. Sorry, sir. It's a little three wheel. Jesus, man. Imagine being in this thing. Oh, boy. Brakes are good, though, still. That's good. Um, realistically, though, I don't know how I'm going to get this thing to wheel. At least maybe it's the wheel. I don't know. Whoa. What? I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? The only thing I'm thinking is no clutch. That's the only thing that I can think of right now. Clutch really kind of starts to interfere with these tunes, I feel like. Here we go. Three. Two, one, or not. I had a good feeling that was going to work, too. I don't know what's happening there. It just does not want a wheelie for me. We're going to go through some gears. The privilege of not having to use the clutch. Oh, oh shit. Uh-huh. This is a pre-runner right here, man. We're getting you. Oh, damn. Scraping. How far we can go up this hill? I'm doing it. This game can't stop me, man. I think this is actually the edge of the map, too, so this is perfect. Here we go. Ford F-150. Plowing up the hill. We're going to try and go right in this little crevice up here. Third gear, we're going to have to probably drop down a second. Ooh, look at the pull. I don't know what the stock one would do up this thing. I'm curious, actually. Probably gonna have to go back to the stock, but I also want to see what engine this is, though. This is just a lot of horsepower. Man. This is wild. Come on. Oh, we start to lose grip. We throw the grip. Damn. Okay. The smart fours, man. Look at the grip levels up here. They've taken them right down. Damn, man. Okay. 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 I get it, man. We're, we're supposed to go down. Jesus. Nope. Nope. Okay. I was just joking, anyways. I'm not. Joking. We should be good now. 
Straight shot across the road. I'm gonna T-bone this man. Never mind. See if I don't think about it. Oh dear! Almost got them! We're ready for everything. I was coming down fast, but you know, if you try to do something, you usually won't do it. So right, I didn't want to T-bone him. Where's the little house on the prairie out here? Is it right here? Does he own this thing? Visit to move in. Yeah, first thing I want to do, let's see what we can do to the front end. Uh yeah, bull bars. Okay, that's cool. Side steps. What wait, hold on, what? Hello? What is this? What? Oh, they're mud flaps, no? Oh, they are mud flaps. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go for it. Kind of expecting a few more, at least on the back end of the truck. V8, V8, V6 twin toe. Okay, so that's that's where that came from. 345s in the front. They are big, man. We're going to leave those on because I like the truck, the way it sits. Uh, everything else, though, we're going to go ahead and upgrade. And we're going to send this over to the frozen lake, maybe get a few drift zones, right? See just how this thing does sideways. I think I want a new paint on this. I'm just not feeling that matte black. I want something bright, vibrant. I'm thinking white, man. Let's match the snow out here. Wish that we could have got rid of the light bar on the top. Um, I think it would have looked a little bit cleaner myself, but I mean, right? Teach your own. Obviously, this is a replica of the rally truck, and that's why I wish that we just had a few more customization options. If they can put it on, how come we can't take it off? Right? It'd be cool if we can just strip this thing of all those rally components and just kind of bring it back to a street F-150, right? I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool. Now, I've never actually driven on ice before. I feel like I would just be uh, psyching myself out the more I go on it. I've walked on it, and that's still scary, especially when you see these puddles. You start seeing these puddles, you're like, okay, wait, 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 why, wait? <laughs> Why is there puddles, right? Is it cracked? Like, what's, what's happening, man? Right? And then it just takes one one time to go over it, and uh, you're not coming back out of it kind of thing, right? So it's scary out there, man. We're just cruising. Sadly, I did not get to do this with my F-150. I wish, though. I didn't even take off traction yet, man. I should have. Let's do a nice little fat peel out on the damn loner truck. I can't do that, though, man. Imagine that, though. That'd be terrible. Why are these back tires dummied? I, I, right, I don't know. It must have been the guy before. Yeah, this is cool. You want to come out here with this Ford F-150, definitely recommend it. It's so much to do when there's winter, I feel like, man. I like these rotational seasonal changes. Mind you, though, I feel like, I mean, maybe they should get rid of this moving into Forza Horizon 5. Because, obviously, um, they're making four maps out there, right? So, it just kind of makes the work, you know, extra big. And now they're going to, you know, maybe try to make smaller maps in a sense. So... I would like them to maybe kind of go back to just one big map, just a day and night cycle, maybe a little bit of rain here and there, and that's really about it. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below, but I just I just want more map, man. I want more content, and if that's going to have to sacrifice, you know, for that four seasons, then so be it, I feel like, right? But that's just me, though. Let me know your thoughts. Now we're doing some traditional rally right here through the trees, 90 miles an hour. I don't know how far we're going to get, but I'm going to go here. Trees are actually perfectly spaced out for them. They're almost like they're doing a don't break challenge. But speaking of, I don't know if we've got any new ones out there. I definitely got to check Joe's channel. It's been a little bit. We're back on the road, just like that. Man. I planned that out perfectly right there, right? We're on pace. Thankfully, my passenger's giving me some good notes. And almost two wheeling it. Holy shit. This is actually a perfect little rally road, too. This is beautiful. A little bit of dirt wrapped into here, too. This is... Right, Ford F-150, the birdie design. Don't hit the tree, Jesus. Man. Can I tune the gear ratios? I don't even know if I can. Oh my God, yeah, we can. We have 10 gears in this. No wonder it's so slow. I went this whole episode without shifting past six gear. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. It just lengthen all gears. Let's see how this works. I knew we had 10 gears, man, because the truck has a 10 speed transmission, the one that I have. Still though, it is, it just wants, it just wants the three wheel. It's pretty fun though. It looks, I mean, it looks cool as it's doing it. Rip it, and that's it. Okay, let's actually try to get a little top speed here. Now, mind you, I'm supposed to be trying to get to the right hand side. No, that's where the runway is, anyways. Oh boy, sim steering. I forgot about that. Let's straighten it out. My foot's just planted right down to the floor here. Probably part of the issue, but I like it. Third gear. We're not even gonna get to ten gears, man. This is crazy. We need a big airstrip, man. There's something huge. Fast and the Furious DLC inbound airstrip, right? How crazy would that be? Man? That would sell like crazy. That's all I'm saying, man. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Don't forget to slap that like button. Uh, that is going to pretty much do it for this F-150. Why am I rewinding? I'm not used to the button changes here. Look my view. There it is. Okay. Look at us. We're just cruising in the night. This is pretty cool, man. I enjoyed this truck. Huge thank you to Birdie Designs for making another badass killer truck, man. Thank you guys so much for watching as well, too. Don't forget to slap that like button. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for yet another episode. And uh, look at our fuel gauge, man. We're full.
I'm curious if that would go down, though, if fuel and tires were on. I don't know if anyone tried it. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. I'm out. Peace.